Hello everybody, my name is Vít Procházka and I would like to show you the add-on I am working on. Uh, it's Wonder Mesh. So let's me uh, show you uh, how it should work, uh, what's the premise of it and how it could help you. I can add this UV sphere or I can go here, add mesh, add the UV sphere or shift A mesh UV sphere, whatever. When you add the object, you have some options uh, to change the parameters of these objects. Like here in the tool shelf or toolbar, you get this menu where you can change number of segments, number of rings, the size and some other options like generate UVs and whatever else. And if you are happy with your settings, you have your nice sphere, you move it somewhere, rotate it, move it somewhere else and you would like to change the segmentation because now you changed your mind and uh, you would like to change for example the radius or whatever. You actually can't because the blender uh, doesn't recognize this as sphere. For it uh, is just general mesh which accidentally have the name sphere and looks like one. But uh, in the edit mode, it's just a bunch of vertices and faces. And uh, here for this menu, you get only the last operation. So you are sometimes forced to actually create a new sphere and change the settings there. Okay, this is the basic way how Blender works. And here is where uh, the add-on comes. Uh, if you activate the Wonder Mesh add-on, if you install it and go to the files, user preferences, add-ons, you can find here Wonder here object Wonder Mesh. You can activate it, and you will get this little menu in Create tab, also in Add mesh here w primitives and shift a mesh w primitives and why they are different than this one i can show you for example use the sphere as well and other thing that it's smooth shading uh, nothing else really changed but if you look here in the tool shelf you can see there are no options there uh, even if I press F6, I don't have the menu where I can change the parameters of this sphere. That's because uh, with this add-on I moved all these options to the mesh properties. Here on the right, if I click on the mesh properties of this sphere, I can see here in the bottom W mesh data and here is type is W sphere and all properties of this sphere, for example, radius, segments, I can turn off the smooth shading, so I see the segmentation and rings or whatever. And because, because it's here, it's properties of the mesh itself, it stays here even if I move this sphere somewhere else or even if I create some, else ob uh, some other objects. I can do whatever I want. I can go back to this sphere, select it, and I still have the same options available to me. So if I want to change something, I can change it. I can change even the base topology of this uh, sphere. It don't have to be uh, UV, it could be uh, icosahedron. So here you can see something that's made from icosahedron. If I uh, activate this trees subdivisions, you should be pretty familiar with this shape also. I can change the subdivisions. I can change it, for example, to cube to get spherified cubed, which is one of the best topologies for the spheres, I believe. Or tetrahedron with not trees, just quads only. Or octahedron could be quads only or trace and icosahedron with quads only get something like soccer ball topology whatever but the 
main reason of this add-on or main usefulness is the fact that the properties stays there. So I will move this, change some properties here, even segmentation, I don't see it. So I will go here to the display wire and draw all wires. So I see how it works in all axes, go back to the sphere and the properties are still there. Uh, for now, as I said, it's an early development. So there isn't much of these objects. There is just a plane, what you will expect from the plane, dimensions and segments. Uh, again, I don't see these segments without the wires. Uh, some box, you already seen it here. Uh, ring, uh, which is pretty much the same thing as a circle, but you can have uh, inner radius and outer radius. Uh, you don't have to use one of these. You get the segmentation, of course, and even the section from to some angle. Uh, the same thing, but in 3D is tube. So uh, it's a cylinder right now with the smooth shading. That should actually count the sharp edges on the corners. Sorry, again with two radiuses, with the inner one also, segmentation of course, uh, if I uh, turn this wire, wireframe again, I can see the segments on the other sides, and of course the section same as the uh, ring one, the sphere we already seen, and first kind of special object is the screw, where I set some rounds, segments, height, radiuses, inner, outer. There should be some more segments, for example. And I plan to add, of course, the cone, torus, the same objects as they are here. And even some more special objects. Uh, not only the screw, but for example, some gears or uh, bearings, or something that you can imagine is uh, procedurally uh, generated that can have some of these properties and can be modeled on the fly. Well, uh, other important information is that keep in mind that these properties are properties of the mesh, not the object, not anything else. So the mesh that is named W screw has these properties. If I put this mesh on some another object, whatever, like this sphere, and I said it should be where it is, W screw, it will share the same properties. You can see here the number two. It means this mesh is used by two objects, and I change the properties of both objects. Uh, if I duplicate the object with Shift D, so it means it uses another mesh. So it's W screw 001, not this one, the W screw. Uh, the properties are uh, independent of each other. The other thing that is very important is uh, this is meant to work only in object mode because all these properties will overwrite anything that you will do with the mesh inside. Uh, here you can su uh, see that the type is W screw. For example, here you can see the type is W sphere. And for the blender, it will stay the sphere. So even if I go to the edit mode and change something, edit whatever I want, and go back to the object mode, if I change, for example, the divisions, it will recalculate the sphere and get rid of all the changes I did before. Uh, so as long as this will stay the sphere, the W sphere for Blender, it will look like a sphere, it will work like a sphere. If I want to actually uh, change the topology, change uh, the mesh inside, I have to work with basic mesh that uh, the common mesh used in the blender from since forever well I have to convert this uh, 
wonder mesh or this w mesh data here uh, is the button for it convert w mesh if i hit it uh, all the properties are gone here this is just a regular mesh and i can work with it as with any other regular mesh without any changes uh, to the base code of the blender previously but i cannot go back to the sphere uh, now so keep this in mind uh, it's kind of in plan to implement this uh, into the add-on to be able to create this base mesh like this screw and uh, edit something to it and still keep this data procedural but uh, for now it's simply not possible so don't expect it right now well but i still think it's pretty useful you can definitely find uh, some uh, use cases for it and uh, if you would like to download it get it somewhere uh, you can go to the description and you will find uh, two links uh, to the file uh, first link is to the github because this add-on as pretty much any add-on for blender has to be open source so because it's open source you can get it for free on the github just download the zip uh, install it as any other add-on and you can use it uh, as you expect also there is second uh, link and it's for the blender market it's for if you want to uh, actually fun financially support uh, the development or even the development of the blender itself uh, you can go there and buy this add-on for money and uh, it's uh, i choose the blender market because it's run it by guys that are behind the cg cookie and part of the uh, part of the uh, earrings earnings are uh, go back to the uh, blender developers so we can support me and them and at the same time but uh, if you don't want uh, to spend the money or you can't you don't have the money or whatever reason uh, just go to the github the versions uh, on the, uh, the github and on the blender market are exactly the same it's the same piece of code so don't worry if you get the free version you still get all the functionality uh, and everything same as from the blender market even the bugs of course and if i am talking about the bugs i definitely uh, want from you uh, some feedback to tell me whatever doesn't work uh, what should work differently uh, if the blender crashes or uh, some properties are weird or whatever is bad just write me to the comments or uh, even to the email wherever you can uh, find me and i will try to uh, change it to the final product well it's pretty much all from me for now i thank you very much for watching uh, i thank you for for, uh, for your time and till the next time bye